Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to St. Henry Catholic Church in Gresham, Oregon. My name is Father Charles Zock. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Ignatius of Loyola, along with Peter Ferber and Francis Xavier, was the founder of the Jesuits, the Society of Jesus. Today our song will be uh, repeating, Give Us Peace to Our God. So let us stand as we open with our traditional song, Give Us Peace. Do no no Jesuit order, ad maiorem gloriam Dei, all for the greater glory of God. So let us present ourselves and our works today for the greater glory of God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and Bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, <clears throat> who raised up St. Ignatius of Loyola in your church to further the greater glory of God, grant that by his help we may imitate him in fighting the good fight on earth and merit to receive with him a crown in heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us be seated for the word of God. First letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, whether you eat or drink, or whatever you do, do everything for the glory of God. Avoid giving offense, whether to Jews or Greeks, or the Church of God, just as I try to please everyone in every way, not seeking my own benefit, but that of the many that they may be saved. Be imitators of me, as I am of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. I will bless the Lord at all times. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. I will bless the Lord at all times. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. I will bless the Lord at all times. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good. 
good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. I will bless the Lord at all times. For the Lord, you his holy ones, for nothing is lacking to those who fear him. The great grow poor and hungry, but those who seek the Lord want for no good thing. I will bless the Lord at all times. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. chapter of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory Jesus came to his native place and taught the people in their synagogue. They were astonished and said, where did this man get such wisdom and mighty deeds? Is he not the carpenter's son? Is not his mother named Mary? and his brothers James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas. Are not all his sisters with us? Where did this man get all of this? And they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his native place and in his own house. And he did not work many mighty deeds there because of their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. How often we've heard the line as far as educating children, it takes a village. We all join especially as ministers of the gospel in educating our youth in the ways of Jesus Christ. It takes a village. Today, an entire village rejected their native-born son, Jesus. Is he not the carpenter's son? Don't we know his family? Because of their lack of faith, they choked off Jesus' message. Because of their lack of faith, it choked off Jesus' message. And Jesus left there performing only a few mighty deeds. They missed out, so many of them, on the life Jesus was offering. So we consider our own village. How are we in welcoming mighty deeds from our native Son of God? Regardless of that village rejecting, Jesus was steady. He continued, whether people believed him or not, to give the message of life that he offers. It's for us to make certain that we join in on Jesus' own perseverance and follow in his footsteps, even in the times we struggle, especially in the times that get difficult. And we recall, not my will, but thine be done. Very important that we understand this notion of village accepting, village rejecting. The consequences of accepting are mighty deeds.
and strengthening of our own faith. Consequences of rejection is going it alone, being isolated, going into depression, forgetting an adage of the Society of Jesus. It's all done for the greater glory of God. And not my will, but thine be done. So let us now stand and make these petitions to our Heavenly Father. St. Ignatius of Loyola, in his former life, was military and very good at it. And then he went through a conversion through spiritual exercises. Today we pray, because he's a patron of the military, we pray for the peace that is brought by our military stability. We pray also for all of our peace officers, for their safety. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray today for ministers of the sick and the needy. Needy, we pray especially for those who minister to and serve those who have COVID. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And as we are nearing next week completion of the roof, it's only the onset of our entire construction to break ground. We pray for safety for our labor, laborers during construction of our Saint, our, the Madonna Center, which we will call the Welcome Center. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our Heavenly Father, we stand before you confident of your love for us and that you hear and answer us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. This will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you. Through this mystery of water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. This will become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me of my sin. Sisters and brothers, we pray together that this, our sacrifice, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May these offerings we make to you as we celebrate St. Ignatius be pleasing, Lord God, and grant that the sacred mysteries which you have made the fount of all holiness may sanctify us too in the truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the heights. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the heights. Please be seated. <clears throat> 
You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love, and when as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, <clears throat> broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again. And we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. And so, having called us to your table, Lord, Confirm us in unity, so that together with Francis, our Pope, and Alexander, and Peter, our bishops, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and your entire people, as we walk your ways with faith and hope, we may strive to bring joy and trust into the world. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Apostles and Martyrs, with Ignatius of Loyola, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And now at the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, 
peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. Amen. Let us share a sign of peace. May this name be the Father and Son of our Lord Jesus Christ. Bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament, and I love you above all things. I desire to receive you into my soul, but since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the sacrifice of praise that we have offered with thanksgiving in honor of St. Ignatius, O Lord, bring us to exalt your majesty without end through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just one announcement and making sure that folks who wish to attend can on the Feast of the Assumption, which is celebrated on the weekend of the 15th and 16th. After the 11 o'clock mass on Sunday, we'll have a groundbreaking by the bell tower, and we invite all of you, we have eight gold shovels. Maybe we can get most of the earth moved uh, on Sunday at noon, and we'll have picture taking. And so come join us, 11 o'clock, and we, at that point, will show uh, the terracotta, it's a special, uh, Bob relief of the Madonna uh, because we are going to name what we receive from the Franciscan sisters of Bridal Veil. Uh, we're naming the Welcome Center, the Madonna Center. The Lord be with you. <laughs> May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.